Over the past few weeks, we've talked about how California has the highest poverty level in the country and how New York is the fastest shrinking state in the country. Considering the dire state of these two regions, it's not surprising that a lot of people are looking for a new home. On TV, we always hear about these people moving to Texas and Florida, but the fastest growing state in the US in terms of percentage is actually Idaho. Between July of 2020 and July of 2021, Idaho's population grew by 2.9%. This is nearly three times higher than the growth rate of Texas and Florida. This isn't some new phenomenon either. Idaho has consistently topped the growth charts over the past 10 years. Since 2011, Idaho's population has grown by over 20%, while even Texas' population has only grown by 15%. Now, of course, Texas has far greater nominal growth, but it's crazy to think that a state like Idaho, which is generally overlooked by most people, is so popular amongst migrants. So why are so many people moving to Idaho? Starting with the most obvious reason, we have finance. Idaho is simply a far more affordable place to live than much of the country. Now, Idaho isn't dirt cheap like Arkansas or Oklahoma, but they're definitely on the reasonable side of things. For example, let's take a look at housing. Housing prices have actually shot up quite a bit over the past two years in Idaho, even more so than the rest of the country. Before the pandemic started, the average house cost $300,000, but now the average house costs $475,000. This means that Idaho housing has shot up 58% over the past two years. But if you scroll back to let's say 2016, the average house cost $211,000, and in 2013, the average house cost $154,000. So, as you can see, Idaho has historically had cheap housing. And even now, the average house in Idaho is only slightly more expensive than the national average of $440,000. Something else to consider is that a significant portion of migrants to Idaho come directly from California. In fact, Californians have made up 46% of the net migration to Idaho over the past 5 years. And these guys are not only used to seeing far more expensive housing prices, but many of them have also earned California inflated salaries for several years, if not over a decade. This is especially true for tech workers. For someone who's worked at Fang as a software engineer throughout their 20s, buying a house in Idaho even with cash seems pretty realistic. And it's not just housing that's affordable either. Every facet of life in Idaho is cheaper than most of its western neighbors. In fact, Idaho is the 19th most affordable place to live in the US. For perspective, Washington comes in at 38, Oregon comes in at 47, and California comes in at 49. Considering this, it's no wonder that Idaho is a top choice for people living in these states. It's not all perfect though. Idaho does have some hefty taxes. In fact, Idaho has one of the highest state income taxes in the nation, coming in at number 6. To make things worse, you don't even have to make that much to fall into the highest tax bracket. As long as you make over $7,940 per year, you have to pay 6.5%. So this is basically everybody who has a job. Even in California, you have to make over $35,000 per year to pay such a tax rate. Idaho also has substantial sales taxes as well, coming in at 6%. For perspective, California sales tax is 7.25%. On the bright side though, property taxes are relatively low in Idaho. The average resident pays an effective tax rate of 0.69%, which works out to roughly $1,500 per year. This is one of the places that Idaho shines above even Texas. Texas is notorious for having high property taxes to make up for a lack of income tax. The average Texan pays an effective property tax of 1.8%, which works out to $3,900 per year. Also, something else to note is that states generally have a cap as to how much property values can increase in a given year. For example, the cap in Texas is 10%. This means that even if your property skyrockets in value by 40%, you'd only be taxed 10% more the following year. So most of these tax assessments haven't caught up to current home prices. Once they do, Idaho will likely just become even more appealing. So while Idaho has its ups and downs financially, in the big picture, Idaho is far cheaper than most of the western states that people are migrating from. Aside from offering an affordable life, Idaho also offers quite a few career opportunities. You see, it's not just people that are moving from western states to Idaho, but also companies. Of course, they also benefit from all the cost savings just like everyone else, but there's more to it than just that. Idaho can sometimes be a more desirable expansion choice than Texas due to its proximity. 
flights between San Francisco and Boise aren't even two hours long. Meanwhile, flights between Austin and San Francisco take nearly four hours. Idaho's proximity to California becomes an even larger advantage if your other options are New York or Florida. It takes over six hours to travel from either of these places to San Francisco. Considering this, as a business, if you need employees to travel between your offices on a regular basis, it makes a lot of sense to choose Idaho, and that's exactly what many tech companies have done. Something else to note is that Idaho's proximity makes it a prime destination for remote workers. Even before the pandemic, Idaho was one of the leaders in terms of remote work. In fact, Idaho ranked sixth in the nation with 5.9% of their workforce working remotely. During the pandemic, this number obviously went to the moon, reaching heights of nearly 50%. Since then, companies have been shifting back to in-person, but many employees are choosing to stay remote permanently. Sometimes, this means shifting to another company that allows for remote work or even negotiating a lower salary. A Tesla employee named Solomon, for example, accepted a 20% pay cut to stay in Idaho. Stories like these have actually become so common that companies have started developing streamlined policies for pay cuts and remote work. Google, for instance, is cutting pay by 5-25% to based on where a remote employee moved to. It's not just tech workers that are having a blast in Idaho, either. Idaho offers plenty of blue-collar jobs as well. A great example is Idaho's lumber industry. Idaho has the 8th highest lumber production in the nation. And given how much lumber prices have gone up over the past two years, this has been quite lucrative. A similar case could be made for Idaho's food processing, chemicals, paper, and mining industries as well. Idaho ranks 7th when it comes to agricultural goods and food product exports per capita. Similarly, 45% of all silver mined in the US comes from Idaho, and Idaho is the second largest producer of phosphate. And this isn't just cherry-picked evidence either. There are stats that show that Boise not only has a strong labor market, but the strongest in the entire nation. Take job posting growth for example. Between February of 2020 and January of 2022, Boise saw the highest growth in job postings in the nation, coming in at an impressive 94.8%. In other words, job opportunities literally doubled in the past two years in Boise. So there's no question that Boise is one of the best places to start a long-term career right now. The two factors that we've discussed so far alone are likely enough to convince most people to at least consider Idaho. But there are many more factors that actually push them to make the decision. For example, they might be convinced by Idaho's beautiful outdoors. While Idaho isn't warm year-round like California, many prefer Idaho because it actually has four distinguishable seasons. You can experience a full winter, spring, summer, and fall every year. Not to mention, there's plenty of activities to do outside it thanks to Idaho's largely preserved nature. Idaho has over 2,000 named lakes and 4.7 million acres of designated wilderness. They also have plenty of mountains, which makes the state perfect for hiking, mountain biking, skiing, snowboarding, fishing, and so much more. You also don't have to worry about natural disasters. Idaho is safe from earthquakes, wildfires, floods, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, etc. Aside from the great outdoors, Idaho also benefits from the perks of suburban life such as safety and schooling. Starting with safety, Idaho has relatively low crime. On average, there are 227.1 violent crimes reported for every 100,000 people in the state. The national average is 380.6 violent crimes per 100,000 people. Similarly, the state's robbery average comes in at 11.4 incidents per 100,000 people, which is the second lowest in the country. These promising statistics carry over to property crimes as well, which comes in at 1,461.4 per 100,000. The national average is nearly 2,200 per 100,000 people. Considering all this, I don't think you'd be surprised here that Idaho ranks as the third safest state in the country. In terms of schooling, Idaho's public school system is nothing to brag about, but it is respectable. It comes in at right about average in the country at rank 29. Something to note, however, is that Idaho ranks better than Texas and Oregon. Also, the only reason California ranks better than Idaho is due to their higher education. If you look at K-12 education, Idaho comes in at rank 23, while California comes in at rank 40. So if these are your other options, Idaho is actually relatively good. Moving on from education, Idaho is great for proximity to the West Coast. This is not only an advantage for tech companies located in California, but also an advantage for people with family on the West Coast. A lot of times, the number one reason that people don't want to leave a state like California is because they have a lot of friends and family there. 
But given Idaho's close proximity to California, it's not that expensive or difficult to visit on a regular basis. This is one of the main reasons that Las Vegas is so popular amongst Californians as well. Las Vegas doesn't quite have the same career opportunities as Boise though, so for many, Idaho is the best compromise. In the end, people have been facing economic pressures from all directions over the past few years. We have high inflation, a supply shortage, skyrocketing home prices, rising interest rates, and we're officially in a recession. With all that being said, people have been desperate to find a place with a more reasonable cost of living without having to give up too much. For many high earners like managers and high-level software engineers, the solution has been moving to Texas and Florida. But for many everyday people, they can feel these states becoming too expensive as well. In Austin, for example, median home prices are nearly $700,000. So many have chosen to move to the next best thing, which seems to be Idaho. Dozens of secondary tech companies have moved or expanded to Boise, which has made career opportunities abundant. Combine this with the low cost of living, diverse weather, great outdoors, respectable schooling, low crime, and close proximity to the west coast, and it's no wonder why Idaho has become so desirable. The sad part though is that this mass migration has carried over many of the west coast problems over to Idaho. For example, Boise suffers from the worst rush hour traffic in the entire country. Similarly, home prices are almost crossing $500,000. So, it's not clear how much longer Boise will remain the top choice for new migrants. But for the people who moved there in the past 5 years, and especially those that moved in right before the pandemic, it looks like they chose the perfect time to make the move. But only time will tell. Would you guys move to Idaho? Comment that down below. Also, drop a like if you hope that Idaho doesn't get ruined as well. And of course, consider checking out our Discord community to suggest future video ideas and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari. And I'll see you guys on the next one.